Today I'm going to be reviewing a new Bible that's coming out from Holman, and this is the Holman Handcrafted Large Print Thin Line Bible. So just to go over some of the features here, it's going to have a goatskin leather cover. It is a thin line design, so it's less than one inch thick. It is edge lined, has Smithstone binding, um, high quality Bible paper, two column text format, topical subheadings. It's going to have an 11 point type font size. It's a black letter text. It has footnotes. It has art gilt. There are three ribbon markers. Uh, we have a two piece gift box here that it's in. And then there's also going to be a where to turn section with some scripture references for common life issues, a presentation page, and full color maps. So I was really excited for this, <clears throat> excuse me, this handcrafted thin line in the CSB because I have several other um, thin lines and other translations that are um, high quality like this. And I was excited for the CSB because it is one of my favorite translations. So I'm going to take a look at this here. Use the camera shaking box. It was a little bit of a tight fit there, but definitely protects it, keeps it safe. All right, so I have the brown cover. There's also a black cover as well. You can see it has perimeter stitching. It has a nice grain. And then on the spine, we have CSB and Holy Bible, Christian Standard Bible and Holman, and we have these tooled in um, hubs or yeah, I guess that's what you'd call them there. They're not really raised. It's kind of like tooled into The spine here, but they're really nice, too We have our three ribbon markers in red black and then kind of a gold color here They are double-sided satin Again, this is edge line. I'm gonna adjust the camera just slightly. There we go you can see a little better, hopefully. And then we're going to have um, red under gold art gilding. Start out with a presentation page. Okay, this is the um, 2020 text of the CSB. And then we get a table of contents with the books of the Bible. An introduction to the Christian Standard Bible and then we're going to get into the Old Testament so this has red accents in it for the chapter numbers having some page turning issues here there we go so again you can see it's a double column format um, 11 point font and the chapter and verse numbers as well are in red as well as the name of the chapter, or the name of the chapter, the name of the book. I'll get it eventually. I believe this is 36 GSM paper. See, we have the footnotes at the bottom of the page here. So it's very readable and it's also a great size. With it being a thin line, it's easy for you to carry it to church or wherever you're headed on the go. It definitely feels great in my hands. Nice high quality Bible that you don't have to worry about carrying around with you. You don't have to worry it's going to, you know, fall apart or get too damaged for you to be able to use it. As long as you take decent care of it, it's going to last you a, a lifetime. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the New Testament. Actually, there we go. As you can see, this is a black letter text. That's definitely my preference. I also like how it makes the um, chapter numbers and the verse numbers pop a little more because you don't have any text that's red. It's all that black letter text. So the only red that you're seeing then are 
the chapter numbers, the verse numbers, the top of the page, you have um, the reference of, of what book and chapter you're in, and then the page numbers. Could have done the, the headings as well in red. That would have been nice, but it's very nice the way it is as well. Let's go ahead to the end of the Bible here. Almost there in Revelation here. My fingers work right. All right, here we are. So at the end of the Bible, then, you're going to have this section on where to turn. So it gives you a, a scenario like when you're blue, when you're tempted to do wrong, when you face physical danger, when you're discouraged, and that it's going to give you the scripture reference and then the page number to find it on. So that makes it easy to do a topical study or if you're just, you know, feeling a certain emotion and want some scripture to help you through that. It's a great reference tool. There's also a table of weights and measures. And then we're going to have our maps, and the maps are on cardstock. All right, and that's the end. So obviously I like this one because it is CSB. It's easy to carry. It's a nice size. The font size is pretty good, easy to read, and... So I was excited to see this thin line in the handcrafted collection. I also wanted to compare this with a couple other thin lines that I have. So excuse my reach. I have this um, NASB 2020 large print ultra thin reference from Lockman. So just to kind of give you a size comparison here. They're pretty similar. The Lockman one is slightly um, longer here. Very slight though. I'll lift it up here so you can see. And a little bit thicker, but they're pretty similar. Right, and the, as for font size here, Not good at juggling more than one Bible. I've said that in a couple videos, so I apologize. Like, I love reading God's Word and sharing God's Word, but I'm not the most like tech savvy and all that person, so I will definitely do my best. But you can see this is the NASB over here, the one on top that you see the red gilding there. I think that one reads a little bit bigger, just with the spacing. But definitely both easy to read. All right, the next one I'm going to pull out here is an, an ESV Omega from Crossway. This is on one of the older editions, but I'm pretty sure they're the same size as the newer ones that are out. Okay, so this, the CSB is slightly taller here. Very slight but there is a little bit of a difference there and also here. And the CSB is a little bit thicker than the Omega as well. As for font size comparison, let's grab this open here. They're pretty similar. See a huge difference there? It's also like the type of font too can make a difference in how it reads. It might it might be like exactly the same size or maybe even say that one's bigger than the other, but it really depends on also spacing and the type of font. All right, and finally we have, let's go close this up here to get a comparison. We have the New King James Version Premier Thin Line. Excuse me, I'm having like camera earthquakes here while I'm trying to get different Bibles out. So sorry about that. Um, these are all, these are very similar. They're pretty much exactly the same. Slight, 
slight down here. There's a little bit of a difference, but really they're almost the same. Thickness is almost the same. And then for font, let's see, find a similar book here. All right, so the New King James Version is the one here on the top, and then over here is the CSB. So again, pretty similar. I mean, there's slight differences between these font sizes. I think the NASB probably reads the biggest of all the ones I showed you, but the other ones are pretty similar with their font size. So if you have any of these, any of these other thin lines, you could see, like I said, the NASB from Lockman was slightly bigger and thicker because the font size is just a little bit bigger, but they're all pretty similar in size. So if you have one, it kind of gives you a judgment as to how thick and how large this one is as well. And font size, besides the NASB being a little bigger, they're all, they're all pretty similar. So if you like any of those, you're probably going to like this one as well. And if you are looking for that thin line in the CSB translation, that is a premium Bible that you can carry along with you and not worry about it getting banged up, then this um, large print thin line from Holman is the way to go.